morning. How's everyone doing? Happy Friday morning. This is Friday. Yay. On this uh, Memorial Day weekend, right? It means squat to me. <laughs> Barry has to work Memorial Day. He always has. And uh, But Amanda does have it off. And so that's, that's good. So let's talk about yesterday. Yesterday I had for breakfast avocado toast and oh my gosh, it was so good because I had not had it in about a week. So it was really, really, really yummy. And then for lunch, I made my veggie burger again. I'm kind of almost obsessed with that. So, but it's so good, it's so good, so easy, so fast. And then for dinner, I made Mexican bowls, which had uh, chicken in it, which I just took chicken breast, skinless, boneless chicken breast, and I put them in a skillet first. Um, I think I've, I've shown this, how I, how I make my chicken, but um, I put it in the skillet, let it uh, cook. <laughs> For like three minutes on each side and then I put it in a 425 oven and just let it finish cooking in there and I made some like fajita peppers and onions to go along with it I put that in the pan first to kind of get it a little brown on there not burnt but brown and then I put that in the oven as well and we had Spanish right rice the r-i-g-h-t rice uh, I was not a fan of it. I think the only rice of that that I like is the original because you could just really zhuzh that up. You could put different things in it and it makes it taste really good. The herbs or the the um, the seasonings that they use in all the other stuff like the lemon pepper, it wasn't lemon pepper, it was like lemon garlic or something like that, I don't know. And then the garlic one and then the Spanish one, it just has a weird taste to it. I don't know what seasonings they're using, but it is just no good. So I tried to fix it by putting more salt in it and more garlic and chili powder and stuff like that. But once you put everything all together, it really was okay, but I could still kind of taste that mm, in it. So I will not be using that again. I will just soon use my regular rice and make my Spanish rice that I make. Then let's see, what else did I put in it? Uh, I made homemade pico and then so I had the leftover avocado from breakfast. So I went ahead and made homemade guacamole to go with that. Oh, it was so good, it was really good. And let's see, I made corn, corn to go in it, and refried beans. I had used all my black beans. Usually I put black beans in it as well, but I had used all my black beans in the soup the day before. So that was pretty much what we had for dinner. Uh, so yesterday was a very, very good food day. It was really good. Movement, not so good. We're just tired, I guess. I don't know what's going on. I know, I'm just lazy. I hate exercising, so that's my excuse. So, me, I just, I just don't like to exercise. It's just boring to me. There's a million other things I'd rather be doing than exercising, so. But I gotta get out of that mindset. I gotta start moving more. I know that now. Um, but that, you know, hopefully my goal for next week will be to walk at least three times a week, maybe one of those being the couch to 5K. I want to try to start getting the running back in there as well. So our gym is open, but oh, gyms are petri dishes as it is. And I don't understand, Barry has gone to the gym and what they do is they give you a bottle of sanitizer, right? Your own little bottle which is fine, we always cleaned anyway. We cleaned before we used the machines and after we used the machines. So we have always done that, but we all know there are people out there that do not do that, even if you give them your own bottle of stuff. I feel and I thought that they were gonna take temperatures of everybody going in, which you would think would be the sensible thing, not only about the virus going around, but just in general. Because like I said, gyms are petri dishes for germs and viruses and bacteria and stuff like that. 
So you would think that a gem, no matter what, would just like scan you really quick with one of them little boop boop. And if you have a fever, bye, go home. Why are you here? Quit infecting people. So I don't know. I'll tell you what's gonna happen eventually. There's gonna be a little scanner at the doors when you go into places. It's, it's probably in the works. It's probably already in the works. If it's not, I'm the one who's come up with this idea then where they just scan your forehead and if you have a fever, you can't go in. Solves a lot. And I'm not talking just about this virus. I'm talking about all viruses, right? Colds, flu, they kill you just as much. The flu does. So come on, let's, let's get on it, Bill Gates. Anyway, okay, so today I have to go grocery shopping. I'm going to get some of that macaroni and cheese that I was talking about the other day. I'm excited to try that. I'm also gonna get some mushrooms because I have some polenta and I want some polenta, but I want mushrooms to go in it just to give it a little bit extra flavor. And uh, probably the mushroom pasta, I hadn't had that in a couple of weeks, so I think I want that. That way I can have that for lunch. And let's see, what else do I need to get? I, I think that's it. So I have to go grocery shopping, which, ugh. I don't like doing, but somebody's got to do it. But when I get back, I'm going to be working on some stuff, and I want to show you what I'm going to be working on. And I want you to guess what it is. All right, so this is one of them. Oh, it's so cute. Cute, cute. This stuff is going to end up going on my Etsy store. Here is another. <laughs> Let's see. And I believe, uh, let's see. I think uh, this goes with that. I don't know, I'll have to look. But I have these things as well going. And I have these. So I have quite a few things that I need to start painting to get onto my Etsy store. So I'm excited about doing that. This one though, I'm going to do for myself, but I want to show y'all when I get done with it, and I may actually videotape me doing this one. Maybe. I don't know. So, that's my plan for today. I hope y'all are having a great day. I hope that everything is working out fine for y'all. Um, I hope that if you're on a eating program or if you're just trying to watch what you eat, trying to eat a little bit cleaner, don't beat yourself up if you don't do it every meal, every day, right? I mean, we're only human and, you know, sometimes you just need something else besides spinach. Um, so, yeah, and if you're trying to move, I hope, you know, just take a five-minute walk. <laughs> Gina, take a five minute walk, okay? <laughs> I need to give myself that advice. Ugh. Mm. I do try to walk in the house, I will say that. I do try to walk in the house for a little bit. So anyway, all right y'all, well have a great weekend and uh, if I don't talk to you till Tuesday, I'll see you then, bye. Oh my God, y'all, I have to vlog this oh, so quickly, all right. So we have this stray cat that has just appeared at our door. Apparently cats know, hey, this house has a hundred cats. Let's just go there. So we have been feeding her and everything. She's even been spaded. And we've tried to let her in. She'll come in and then she wants back out, which is cool or whatever. But I mean, we've been on the fence. We're like, this obviously belongs to somebody. But when she came to our door, the first off, she was so thin, y'all. You could like see her bones and shit. She was, she was not healthy. But now she's plumping up because we feed her twice a day. So I go to the grocery store all the way, probably 10, 15 minutes away from my house right? Come home. I stay in the grocery store about an hour. I come home, park my car, and I hear a weird noise. And I'm like, what the hell is that noise? And so I hear it again. And I'm like, oh my God, please don't tell me I ran over that cat. Because I could tell then it was a cat, right? And I was like, but I didn't see her in the driveway. I don't, you know. 
So I get out and I hear it again. So I'm like, Kitty, I hear you, where are you? We call her Little Missy is what we call her. I'm like, Little Missy, where are you? And then I thought, maybe it's in my garage. Maybe it's one of my cats just meowing through the, the garage door. I don't know. So, but then I look up in the tree because Barry, yesterday when he got home, she was up in the tree crying because there's this cat, a male stray cat that's out that picks on her, right? Y'all, I hear it again. I'm like, oh my God, she is in my engine. I pop the hood and sure enough, this cat had traveled 10, 15 minutes, stayed in the engine the entire time I was at Kroger, another 10, 15 minutes back home, not doing 35 either, y'all. The speed limit around here is like 45, so I do about 50. This cat went on a ride. I am like, oh my gosh, this poor cat, this poor cat. It was freaking out. She got out and she just looked at me and she was like, Morel, and I'm like, I'm sorry, little missy, I didn't know, I didn't know you was in the car. Oh, y'all, I am freaking out about this cat. This cat is killing me. She's killing me. Because we keep debating, should we let her in? Should we not let her in? I'm like, well, she's obviously somebody's cat. She's not feral. She'll come up to you. She lets you pet her. She don't like to be held, but she will let you pet her all day long. She wants to be petted and all of that. This cat is not a wild cat. This cat belongs to somebody. And I don't know if she just got lost, but we have been looking for, you know, posters and stuff like that for people lose. Like, uh, Y'all, I just don't know what to do at this point. I don't know what to do because now I feel horrible. I mean, I feel like total shit. I'm going to say it. I feel like shit that this cat was in my car and had to take and was taken. Oh, my God, y'all. I can't. Oh, I just cannot. I cannot. Ugh. Oh. I cannot, y'all. My life can, this is just, whoa. Oh, but anyway, I just had to vlog it. I just had to. I had to let y'all know. See, this is, like I said, I try to have a normal day, and then shit like this just gets thrown at me constantly. Oh, my gosh. It's just no wonder I can't get anything done. All right, I got to put my groceries away. I'm going to try. She went into my neighbor's yard and went underneath their car, so... I'm hoping she's just chilling out. I hope she didn't get hurt. She didn't seem hurt, but oh my gosh. She probably will, n ugh. So I call Barry and Barry's like, we're bringing her in. I don't care, we're bringing her in. And I'm like, but babe, one, what if she's not had all of her shots? What if she's not been vaccinated? We have five other cats in the house. We cannot expose them to her, you know, without knowing that she's safe. So, oh my gosh, y'all. Mm -mm. All right, I'm gonna let y'all go. I, I, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. I just tried these. Vans gluten-free, say cheese. <gasps> they should be outlawed. They are so good. They're like, um, here and they're, well, that's not a whole one. They're not very big crackers. About the size of a um, cheese it but they taste like a Cheez-It, but way better than a Cheez-It. Oh my gosh, these are gonna get me in so much trouble. But luckily though, it's 30 crackers. So not much, that's not that bad really. I mean, and there's no, of course there's no wheat in it because it's gluten-free, but they don't taste gluten-free. Cause you know, sometimes gluten-free is like cardboard. These are awesome. So, and then I also bought these to try with my laughing cow cheese. So I'm about to crack this open. So let me do that. Okay, it's a nice size cracker, I think. Let me taste that. Mmm, mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. I mean, would I eat them just as a cracker? No, but they will definitely taste really good. Even like in uh, hummus, it would be good with hummus. It'd be good with the spinach dip and the Latin cow cheese. This is, this is pretty good. So yay, yay. Um, I got them both at Kroger. So definitely, definitely recommend 10 out of 10. And then I have this brown brittle 
and I've had these before, the salted caramel. They are pretty yummy. They're very thin, as you can see. It's kind of like just eating the corner piece of a brownie. They're not too awfully bad. There's about five pieces for 120 calories. So if you want something sweet, one piece actually will do it for you, you know? So this is nummy too. And like I was saying yesterday, I would rather eat that box of crackers, the cheese ones, the van ones, than to make my pasta that I wanna make. That's what I'm talking about. I'm a junk food junkie. I'd rather eat those chips and eat a couple more of those brownie brittles and call it a day. Is that healthy? No, of course not. But I am about to make my pasta and eat lunch, breakfast and lunch. I have not ate all day, so I'm a little hungry. It's one o'clock. So, all right, talk to you later. Good Monday morning, everyone. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing good. How's everybody weekend go? Mine went pretty well. I'm trying to remember what we ate Friday for dinner and I cannot remember what it was. I'm pretty sure we did not go eat out. So I don't know what we ate, but for breakfast I had avocado toast. Then for lunch I had the mushroom pasta. And uh, no, I didn't even have breakfast Friday. Sorry, that was Saturday I had the avocado toast. And then Saturday I tried the vegan uh, macaroni and cheese, the Alfredo style. Oh my gosh, y'all, it was really good. I highly recommend 10 out of 10. If you're, you know, if you're gluten, if you need to not have gluten in your body and if you wanna go vegan or if you just can't tolerate cheese, it's very good, it's really good. So I'm interested in knowing what the, um, what the cheddar cheese one is because I have that one too. Um, and then for yesterday for I didn't eat breakfast but for lunch I made a pizza out of the bobbly crust and it was pretty good and that crust is all clean which I was surprised no enriched wheat or anything so it's a good crust to get and um, it was just cheese and pepperoni and then for dinner I did make wings and fries so but the wings are really tiny we get the little wings and everything so not too bad and um, so, did I move any this weekend? No. <laughs> Barry did go to the gym. I did not. So, but um, hopefully my goal again is to walk at least three times this week. So, maybe tonight we'll be able to do it. So, but Barry's um, foot has been hurting him. So, that's why we haven't been walking. So, but he's been doing some things with it and um, it's starting to feel better so hopefully we'll be able to go for a walk tonight we'll see what else is going on um oh my gosh y'all so the wood stuff that I showed you right that is professionally cut out um, that I get and I have been trying myself to cut things to cut those um, with a scroll saw but I'm for me it's it's okay if I want to give them as gifts or if I want to do them for myself, they look fine. But as far as to sell them, which is my goal is to sell them, they're not up to par, not quite up to par when, you know, so the sanding is part of the issue. So, and plus it's just, I think I've only cut out one or maybe two things, three things. So, I mean, I have to practice. I have to keep doing it, of course, to get better. But, um, so I did go on a group, I'm with a, you know, on a group and on Facebook and I asked them about their sanding and they gave me some great advice. So I went yesterday, got another piece of better wood and the sanding stuff that they suggested, come home and um, Barry was with me, you know, and I was like, well, you want to try to cut it out? And he was like, sure, y'all, this dude, I'm like, really? You could have been cutting these out all along. He did such a great job. And he wasn't stressed because it kind of, you know, stresses me out a little bit because I want him to be perfect. And he just was like, mm. and he was like, yeah, I did this in high school. I was like, oh my gosh, you're a little, oh, you're a turd turd. <laughs> I was like, I cannot believe that you let me get all stressed and you could do it for me. So I'm so glad, but I am going to try to keep doing it myself. And um, 
luckily our lifelong friend, he's gonna, he's actually giving me a bandsaw. I cannot believe it. He was like, I don't use it anymore because I just wanted to go over and try it before I bought one to make sure that it was something that I was going to use. And he was like, I don't use mine, you can have it. And I was like, get out. And he was like, I'm serious, you can have it. I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. So I have to go pick that up. So, um, but Barry's like, yeah, when we get that bandsaw, oh, it'll be so much easier. And I was like, really? And he was like, yep. And I was like, so I'm uber excited now. So now I don't have to wait for the items to get here and like if if you want something specialized i can do it really quickly so i'm uber 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 excited y'all so excited so today the tile and cabinetry guy is coming to finish up all of that will be over everything will finally be done in the house and i will be so ecstatic that i might do a cartwheel i don't know it's just i'm just so happy that all of that will be done so i'm just waiting on him to get here he'll probably be here in 30 minutes or so so yeah, that's it. That's pretty much what's been happening in my world. I hope y'all are doing great. I hope everything is going well for y'all. And um, thanks so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you know anyone though that might, you know, like these these vlogs and, and have a benefit from them, please let them know um, and let them know my channel and just subscribe. All right, y'all. Thanks so much. Y'all be good to one another and I'll talk to you later. Bye.